So Sensei Zulu, so we started with this, this martial arts school and with the free class for the women. And then I liked that so much. And then I started to enroll in the regular class, you know, to the, which was the black belt track to go through that, that kind of training. And he was just so brilliant and so far ahead of his time because his whole thing was, you know, you're a woman and you can fight a man, but you can't fight a man the way you, the way a man fights a man. Right. You have to use your smarts. He basically, all the street smart, I would say most of the street smarts that I got, I got from him wow. and from the guys in the school because, I mean, we really fought. You know, it was, it was, it was rough stuff. Did you, did you get your black belt? Yes, I did get my black belt. How long did it take you to get your black belt? Four, at least four years. Four, now, were you really... Like, you dived into this. Oh, yeah. I mean, we were... You were aggressive with, with, with your we, martial arts. We sparred, and right. then he believed also, which was ahead of his time. You know, and again, this is the early, you know, this is the early 80s. He, he believed that women should fight, women should fight, learn how to defend themselves against men. Right. Because he said men are going to grab you a different way. Right. Mm. And boy, did they. Right. And they grab you, you know, not like grabbing you to cop a feel, but grabbing you, like, grab your shoulders. Because that's what was happening right. on the streets right. then. I now, mean, were you ever attacked? Did you ever have to use your, your martial arts? I did, I did later on, right. later on down the road, and I believe that it's, and, and I also believe in other situations it saved my life because I was able to take, two, two things happen when you're in a life or death situation. It either goes really slow, like it's in slow motion, or it goes really fast. Right. And in the slow motion, like, if you're, if you're confident that you you know you can do something if you have to. You can kind of go in. There's that, you have that moment of realization that where... infinite focus. Of choice. Right. Where you're like, I don't want to die. I don't want to get hurt. I don't want my people to get hurt. we, we got to calm this down. And then it's it's real weird what happens. It's, it's almost like an instant prayer. Yes. And something happens, you know? Mm. And that's that's happened a couple times. Now, while all of this is happening, you get discovered on the subway. <laughs> by, 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 by a modeling agent. By, by right. a modeling agent. From a, a photographer. Yeah, he's like from, taking pictures. Now, now tell, tell us about that. I was, um, the photographer took pictures, and he was, I was a guardian angel, which was a So you already a guardian angel. Yeah, I got that through karate. I got okay. into that through the karate right. school. Because I'm like going, wow, I'm, I'm kind of, this is, this is really cool. And I did always like the martial arts. Why did you join? Because I angel? honestly, honestly, I felt like it was a way to help. Because there just wasn't. The, the, it's hard for people to understand now because the, we do have a strong police presence, but there was like a very l low police presence in New York City. And there were, there were neighborhoods, there were trains where you'd never see a cop. There were trains that were run by people that were marauding up and down the trains, just robbing people. And as a woman in particular, it was, it was really sketchy. I mean, women always have to be careful, yeah. and especially now, you know, but um, in a different way. You know, more like at the club, make sure somebody's not slipping something in your drink. Yeah. But um, you know, then it was like on the street, survival. You know, I used to commute from Brooklyn to, to, to Manhattan for high school. So we're talking my, my entire high school uh, life. And, and I just remember as a freshman, um, at 14 years old, having to ride, we're, we're talking early 80s. And I just really f remember how lawless it was and how helpless well, I think the helpless thing is, is the... Because at yeah. any given moment, or even if I was hanging out with my friends on 42nd Street and we take the two to three back to New York and at least 50 cats. This is, we're talking about a, sub, a crowded subway car and 50 cats would get on the train and just start marauding everybody. Oh, yeah, up and smacking down. Smacking everybody up the head. And, you know, it was like these guys are bigger than you. They get they, on the out, They outnumber you. There's no cops in sight for at least 15 stops so it's wow. like you're, you, you're really on your own and this was the New York of, 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 of that era oh no definitely and, and I think I mean and, th and this is also when you're having like the beginning of of Mr. Magic and the rap attack right. so it's like there's all these things there's all these things it's a hot pot all these things all going these on. things culturally that are popping but at, at the same time New York went into this very aggressive mode it was extremely like, aggressive you know we're talking about the era of, of Bernard Getz and, and, and the advent at the time of, of vigilantism in New York as well, because it seemed like that was the only the only option. That well, I think you people had. felt that I think people felt desperate, right, right. you know. And I think I think it was there was a sense there there just and there, there especially was a sense in the in the inner city communities in many of our neighborhoods that nobody cared. Nobody cares. And so that's why and the city was damn near bankrupt as well. So. Yeah, there was a lot of issues. Right. <laughs> there was a lot of issues going on 
period. Right. But to me, I didn't see it that way. I saw New York as this huge opportunity right. and a huge challenge. And I'm like, wow, this is really cool. And I was like, you know, I had the modeling thing. I was signed to a contract with Elite mm -hmm. Model Management, which was which the top huge. agency at the time. Right. And I had I had modeling gigs, I had modeling jobs, was going on go sees, still doing martial arts, still doing the Guardian Angel thing. And it was just um that that's what that's what it was. But the stuff on the streets, it sounds crazy because people were like, Wow, you could have you could have stayed longer in Europe or you could have done this job or that job or whatever. But it was it was what was happening in the city that was the so, most exciting. So to did me. you feel like a sense of <clears throat> on top of the excitement, but did you feel a sense of mission with regard to the, the Guardian Angels? Oh, definitely at that right. time, because it was very satisfying. Because we'd be on the trains. And and it was brand new. It, it was, was brand, it was brand new. new. These guys we were really out there on the streets with the with the with the red berets and that and the, the, the all seeing eye on the on the t shirt. <laughs> right. And and so, but what was that that determinative uh, moment where you like I'm going to join these guys? What was? I think it was in the martial arts because right. the guy was like, if you really like this, you, if you really want to, and it was more like the guy, the one of the uh, instructors at the karate schools, like more like if it's if if you really want to see how good you are, you should you should join the test test test, 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 you know, test do this. Right. So I did. So I joined. You know, took the ride up to Fordham Road in the Bronx. Is that where the headquarters? That's where the, the headquarters okay. was at the time, and it was basically. Um, you know, it, it was basically, I was like, listen, what's the what's the worst train? What's the worst car? You what know, was the worst train at the time? At the time, A train. The A train, right. What's the worst car, the last car? Because that's where everybody was just, right. they were scheming. You know, it just was scheming, partying, you know, just going crazy, just walling out in general. Whatever kind of, whatever the walling out was at that right. moment, that's, it was going on in the last car. And and, and that's what happened, so. Now, reportedly, when you, when you right before you joined... Uh, the Guardian Angels. You approached Curtis Lee, who was the the head of the, has been the head of the Guardian Angels, and you told him that you really didn't like him that much. Yeah, I didn't like him. I well, thought he was well, a, I thought he was a dictator, yeah. and I thought he was very authoritarian. And I was just like, you know what? I'm going to do this and for a little bit and see what it is and and see what I really, right. you know, what it's really all about. And and uh, you know, looking back, um, just at some clips and and some some video, you're very outspoken. <laughs> like very outspoken, just you didn't give a fuck. It was just, the '80s, right? It was the '80s. It was so, the '80s. So you, what Ebro and I call call uh, crack era crazy. What was? Don't you want to talk about 2015? There's the, so we're, we're gonna get to 2015, but what was what was the mem what was the the, the, uh, the training like for 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 Guardian Angels? The training the training was a lot of martial arts, but also much more self defense. Right. And I think this is something too. I mean, this is something that I think is still to this day. Um, not given enough credit. There's so many non-lethal ways to take people down. Right. There's there's so yes. many there's so many ways to you defuse, can defuse right. situations. Right. And I just I, you know I have tremendous respect for the police officers. There's there's police officers that are martial artists also, and they feel that that's that really gives them a whole different way to deal with whatever's going to happen on the streets. And I think it's just. It, it's 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 so important, and I think it's just very you know I I wish there was more of some of the take of some of the takedown techniques. I was lucky because Sensei Zulu, he was a master in in jujitsu and aikido, and also in would originally Nisei Goju Karate, which was a hard and soft style. Right. But the jujitsu was the rolling, like we had to learn how to fall on concrete and roll on concrete. The, did, did you get hurt did, in, in, in your training? I had a lot of bruises. Right. I mean, there were a couple of times when I showed for a modeling go see or whatever, and they're looking at me, they're like, oh, you got a bad boyfriend or a problem <coughs> like that? Right, I'm like, no, yeah. no, I'm, I'm just... I'm good. I'm, I'm know, focused. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, 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 we'll just use that cover-up cream on yeah, my arm. Because, you know, we're, we're blocking, right. and, you know, you're, you're right on the bone there. But um, it, it was just his whole, his whole technique, you know, he had a... A combination of techniques, which he later created into his own system, which is now recognized as as a, a zujitsu. Zujitsu. Named after him. Okay. So, the, but a lot of those techniques were very yeah. We you know were the the um, the, the restraining holds in particular were very very good. Your first moments as a guardian angel was it scary? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, what, what were some of the worst I, things? I was just like, well, first of all, the guys. I mean, you know, there were very few girls. Right. There, there were girls. I was the first female leader. Mm -hmm. There were there were. Um, there were girls there, but it was just the kind of thing like they didn't. But really they know weren't to, as pretty as you. They weren't. Well, they didn't really know what to make of me either. Right, right, right. Here, here she is, and you know, I had you're the tall, long hair, I had the blonde, braid, right. you know, and I had, I kind of went up there and I had sneakers on and I, I had like, uh, like dark green army fatigue pants on, and I'm just kind of like, and a couple guys were hitting on me right up there in the headquarters waiting to go for my interview. Right. Other guys were trying to borrow money. And it just was like this whole crazy thing. I'm like, okay, this is this is. It, it was like, 
instant instant uh, street, right. street lessons right, right from the get go. What was some of the craziest things you saw or experienced? Crazy things? Yeah. A lot of crazy things. Like what? Like <laughs> just. They're just crazy things. I mean, people were smoking. You know, that's the other thing too. Is like you would go, you go in Midtown Manhattan. People were smoking, smoking crack in Times o Square. Open air, you'd mid smell mid it. midday. Yeah, you'd see yeah. the cat. You know, you'd see the you'd see the little capsules all over the place, all over everywhere. You knew what the different to color tops were. The you know, like they stamped the, um, you know, the, like the, they stamped the heroin decks right now. You know, the the, the glassine yeah. envelopes. Right. They have the different brand names. You know, the different color tops would be the 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 gray to crack. People people always had the cars broken into. People were getting robbed for chains and stuff like that. Which, by the way, I want to let everybody know there have been some chain snatchings on the train. Really? Yeah. So, so I get the I get the chain, sn chain snatchings. Are chain back. snatchings. Okay. I just tweeted out today. They, had, they They robbed the European Wax Center in Riverdale. Really? Like some guy went in there, took five hundred dollars out of the cash register. That's I mean, crazy. It's like, come on, you That's know, crazy. leave our beauty salons and yeah. our leave our beauty yeah, treatment know, right? centers it's, alone. But, you know? but were you ever in a situation where things got violent or hectic, and you were like, I might die? Or I might really get seriously hurt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, can can we talk about one one? In there been a, there been a, I mean, there been a bunch of them. Right. There were, with, like with the crack things, and you know, we were arresting, we were making citizens arrest of people, and some. You guys had cuffs. Police, you guys had your own cuffs. No, we're what? not allowed to use handcuffs. Right. So, so it was how? always that the, the idea was there was strength in a group. Right. You know.